Hello and welcome back. In this exercise, we're going to go ahead and put two skylights on top of our building. Uh, just remember, in your project, by the end of the semester, you are required to have a skylight. So uh, this will be a good guide for you. One of the first things we're going to do, we're going to go to uh, uh, get the skylight. Uh, if you go to Insert tab, right up here, and then you can see right here you have load family if you just down we when we downloaded a uh, river 25 there's not much in there so that's useless so go to the load family uh, uh right here auto desk load family that's where everything is click on that and then we're going to have this uh window open up right here and whatever we're looking for uh, on uh, any item window doors the skylight just tap it in right there we should be able to have it skylights whoops okay click enter and we have number of skylight and there is a bunch of them let's just go ahead and pick this one called skylight top hang and once you do that you check mark right there and hit load so it will load it onto our program and then we come up with this window we pick up a size let's pick up a nice size uh, start out at 24 by 24 make them nice so you get a lot of sun in uh i like this one 36 by 24 we're going to click OK. Now, this is uploaded here. Remember, Skylight is in a family of window. Uh, let's go to the uh, one of the elevation view, uh, either north or south. Uh, let's go to north elevation view. Uh, yeah, that's where we want to put them, right here. And to do that, we're going to go back to Architect tab right here. And then under Window, we're going to find the Skylight. It's right there. If you look at the property palette, it's already there. We just loaded it. So now I'm going to click on this. All right. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, oops. Skylight. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and put a, try to center them over these two window. I'm going to put one right here. And I'm going to put one over here. I, just on purpose so they do not line up so we can go ahead and fix it so we do this and there's our skylight I'd like to see them to both be lined up and like to be centered up at the uh, between these two window so uh, what we're going to do here let's just uh, go to hit escape couple time click enter and uh, whoops i didn't mean it that way click escape couple time and go to east elevation or west elevation, east elevation probably. Okay, yeah, perfect. There's the two skylights. They don't lay out. They don't uh, line up. Let me make this bigger so we can see it better. And now we can see the entire uh, edge line of the roof. I'm gonna click with the first skylight. Once you click it, you see right there it gives you temporary measurement. It says that's seven feet and uh, three inches. Let's make that to eight feet. Just gonna click on the number itself. And type in 8 enter and now let's go click on the second skylight and it's I don't know what it is 9 feet or 8 feet let's just click on it yes yeah, 9 feet 7 inches let's just make it 8 feet enter and let's see go back to north elevation view and we can see they both lay down pretty good and now you can see this one is kind of almost center on here okay to center this skylight over this window there are a number of ways but one way we can do it is using detail line and it's a good exercise for you guys come up here go to anatoid tab and then from there there's this called detail line click on detail line and then what i'm going to do i'm going to just go ahead and make this bigger go for outside of this trim all the way to the outside there's make a line right there and so I'm going to go, I see there where the square is, click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and until I see this part right there. And I'm going to click right there. And I hit enter. So now I have this line. And uh, go back to uh, do it again. So I'm going to try detail line again. And then come back in here. Let's find this line that we had up there. And it should give us the center right there. It gives us the center. That's the midpoint. You see it says midpoint on it. Endpoint, midpoint. Click on that. And then we're going to go up. 
let me make this smaller so I'm gonna go up to here and click right there enter and escape a couple of time for good luck and now we have uh, these two lines we can delete the line afterwards just click on the line and delete it just I want to line it up and then we're gonna go into uh, um, modify tool right there modify tab and let's go to align tool right there where the pointer is align tool click on that then I'm gonna click on a line which I don't want this line to move and then I'm gonna click on the center of this which I want to move and it is centered up so that's how you do it center both your uh, uh, skylight so they center over the window I'm gonna click uh, enter here and escape a couple of times now you can come back and click on this line and basically delete it get rid of it it's kind of not there you just do the same thing on the other side um, it's a good exercise so what we did here we came up we went to anatoid detail line and I put a line right there and I put one right here and I hit enter escape a couple of time do it again with my detail line right there so I'm gonna come up and find the center and go up all the way here click on that enter escape cup of time and there's my line and there's one that don't lie up so go to modify tab and then we can use a line tool I want to keep this line so I'm gonna click on it first I want the word to be and then I'm gonna move this one and click on that second and aligns it for you so that's how it's done okay we need this on a project make sure you put this on your project for the final and uh, we'll see you in class have a good weekend